Hello everyone, this is Reggie, the appliance nerd, with a nerd note. That's where I take uh, time out on a repair just to show you guys exactly uh, how to do a particular repair without going through, you know, actually disassembly and all that stuff. Uh, this is for a Whirlpool uh, direct drive transmission. And this is for those of you that know uh, you have a bad clutch. Now you now you have a bad symptom of a bad clutch is the clutch basically connects to the transmission and it spins the spin basket. Uh, it, it contacts here and spins the spin basket. This is bad goes bad when you can turn it with your hand. So easy that is. So if I can turn it with my little finger, there's no way this is going to uh, turn a 20 pound plus uh, <laughs> load of clothes inside of a washing machine. Uh, so I'm going to show you, uh, if you don't have time to replace, replacing is always the best thing to do, but I found the same results with just fixing the part. So this is how you fix the part. So what's basically going on is this spring um, has been used so much, it kind of just worn out. So this is how you, you take your pliers and you remove the clutch assembly and we want to remove the spring. And basically all we're going to do is restretch the spring. Uh, there's a number of ways of doing it. It's easy if you had like a press, but I do not have one. So I use two wrenches here. And basically just bend it one way. And watch and be careful because sometimes things will get loose and then fly, go flying. So be sure you, you watch where it goes if it comes loose. Got this stretch in the middle and this this stretch. Great for you do it yourselfers. And reach by restretching this, it'll take years for this to malfunction again. Or to you know re I'm actually stretching it further than the manufacturer specs. Stretch, stretch, stretch. So again, the, a better method if you have a vice, and you can just pull on this thing. Just get it nice and stretched out. Let's see, just so you guys can see. Kind of just stretch it one way, and then turn it. Straighten it out, stretch it another way. Stretch. All right, that is nice and stretched out. Next thing to do, put everything back the way it was. And you wanna clean the inside of this. A lot of times grease and grime gets in there. Um, and clean little brake pads there. Um, I use a, a non-liquid cleaner. You probably got this in your cabinet called cornstarch. Cornstarch is really good for removing moisture and grease. So I'm going to pour a little cornstarch in there. Take your towel. dry cleaner for appliance parts. That cornstarch makes it really, really good. And I'll get it. See all that grease? Look at that. that grease from in there. See this little abrasive? It's good for the metal, you know? Compared to like water or something like that. This would be the worst thing to use. So, let's put some on the towel. And get another good scrubbing. Shoes. 
Sorry guys, I haven't advanced, well, put the time in yet to actually fast forward my video so I won't be able to go through all this, but uh, I do spend the majority of my time actually fixing machines, not really doing the video, so I kind of, kind of a one take wonder. Alright. So that's good. Make sure we get the powder out. The powder actually would make it a little bit more slipperier. But yeah, you don't want to, you know, you would say like, oh, you know, you don't want to add any, like, glue or, like, I've seen somebody one time put a, a, a adhesive over a dryer belt to make it stick to the, the tub. You actually want some slip because if it's overloaded, you want to protect the, your major part transmission. This is, I mean, this, this is a $30 part if you bought it brand new, uh, but you don't want to, you know, transmission will cost you $100 plus dollars. So basically now we're just going to put everything back together. The way we found it. Alright. Let's put a spring back. Do it from the so you guys can see. Bam. See, now you can't even fit it in there, look at that, see? And you compress it. Don't no worry, it won't compress back to the original shape. It'll still have its... There we go. Now look, see? I can barely move this thing. You gotta be able to move it a little bit, but I can barely move it. That's how you want it. And if you put it back in there, you still move it pretty good with your finger. Take it back out and stretch it some more. Um, anyway, that's how you fix a, a clutch. Let's put it back together, print the machine, fill it up with tiles, run a load. It'll, it'll run like a champ. This is Reggie with Nerd Notes. Don't forget to subscribe and hit like. If you have any questions, leave below. Have a great day.